Hi everyone, this is Alison from girlstennisacademy.com. Hello, how are you? Today I would like to ask you a question. And the question is, are you enjoying playing tennis? Now, if you are saying, yes, 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 I love tennis, it's fantastic, brilliant, then there's no other thing that we need to say. Just keep doing what you've been doing because it's obviously working. However, if you say, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I really like this sport anymore, I'm a little bit confused, I'm asking myself the question of what I, why am I playing tennis anymore, then this is an area that I thought I'd just be able to give you a couple of tips on. Because if you're having those thoughts, it's a very good idea to sit down either with your coach or with someone that you trust and you really have a lot of rapport with and figure out what it is about the game of tennis that you're not enjoying. The reason why I'm asking this question is because I went through it as a young person myself. I mean, at the later end of the, my teenage years, around 19 or 20, I kind of asked myself the same question. But what I realized was when I actually gave myself a bit of space to sit down and reflect on a few things, I realized that it wasn't actually the game of tennis that I didn't enjoy. It was the actual other areas around the game of tennis that I was actually not enjoying. And that was things like, you know, maybe the relationship I was having with my coach wasn't as smooth or could have been as flowing as it possibly could be. We weren't in communication as well as much. So we needed to sort a few things out. I was losing some matches that I should have been winning. I thought I should be progressing faster than I was. And all of these sort of questions you can ask yourself and start to think that it's actually the game of tennis, but it's really not. It's things that are associated with the game of tennis that when you get onto the court are affecting you. So when I gave myself a bit of space to have a look at, okay, well, it's not actually the game of tennis that I don't enjoy. It's just these areas that I'm, a lot, I'm not able to manage at the moment that I need some help on. And so one of the big areas can be that if you're not connecting well with your coach, or you don't, don't even have a coach, this could be an area that you might need to, to check up on as your checklist. So when you're doing that, also have a look at other areas that you may not be aware of that could be affecting your enjoyment of the game of tennis. Because as you progress, if you're a teenager between 11 and 17 years of age, these are areas that can get a little bit confusing because you start, there's a lot of emphasis and significance and attention put on results, getting the outcome quickly. And if you're not, and it's not happening right now, you can think, oh, something's wrong with me. I need to be doing something right now. Well, that's not the case. See, tennis is a game that you play through time. And really, the time happens in your time. It's not about comparing yourself with those around you. It's actually comparing and having a look about people above you and looking at where you can go, what your potential is. It's different to everybody else. So it's a very important area to have a look at with your, within yourself as to what where you want to be in five years, or maybe you want to start in less, like in one year, two, three, want, go by years, or if you want to have a look at where you want to be in five years, then work your way back to where you are now and what steps you need to take to get there. So just the question is, are you enjoying tennis? Because if you aren't enjoying tennis, that could also, those factors could also be affecting your results. Because at the end of the day, you absolutely have to love what you're doing, regardless of whether you're winning or losing. And if you have a plan and you understand what you're doing and your purpose and the steps that you're taking, then the losses that you're getting are not going to be as dramatic because you've got the bigger picture that you can place it in. And so you know exactly that this is part of your path towards where you want to go. And the same as if you're winning, you're not going to get out of reality with that you're right there now. You might be able to realize that, okay, this is a fantastic step towards where I'm going and it's actually consolidating it. So just keeping it all in perspective by starting off by having a plan and a purpose, but realizing, first of all, what it is that you are not enjoying about tennis. Because once you get those areas very clear and sorted out with yourself and with your coach, then your forward progress is going to be a lot faster. And maybe you need to be putting in a little bit more quick wins, having little steps rather than big steps. Because when you see those little steps, they give you encouragement and excitement and knowing that you're on the right path. That's a very important thing to have in your plan, is little steps forward. So that's my little tip for today on this video. 
Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any comments or you've got any suggestions of things that you'd like me to talk about or give you some ideas on, feel free to leave your comments in the box below this video and I will be very happy to answer them. And so we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.